What's up everyone? Do you love Lionel Messi? Do you hate Lionel Messi? If you answered yes to either of those questions, then you're gonna love Major League Soccer. And I'm about to break down my favorite futures for the upcoming season that starts today. But before we dive into the video, I want to say a special thank you to the sponsor of this video, Sleeper Picks. Don't forget you can use code GOLDBOYS to get a deposit match of up to $500 off. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the futures. I've got a couple of team futures and I've got a couple of guys that I like for the golden boot. So let's start off with the team futures. The first one I'm going to go into is LAFC to win the Supporters' Shield. If you're not familiar with the structure of the MLS, the winner of the MLS Cup is the team that wins playoffs, but the winner of the Supporters' Shield is the highest seeded team points-wise between both divisions at the end of the regular season. Now, LAFC are just plus 155 to win the Western Conference at the end of the regular season. But because Miami are such overwhelming favorites to win basically everything, LAFC are plus 700 to win the Supporters' Shield. That's a pretty significant difference in odds. And I'm really not that high on Inter Miami this year. They're plus 250 to win the Cup. Messi's about plus 220 to be the top scorer. Even Luis Suarez, who has openly said his knees don't work anymore, is around plus 600 to win the Golden Boot. So I'm really not seeing any value whatsoever in Miami team futures or player futures. But that's a good thing because it means there's a lot of value elsewhere. LAFC to win the Supporters' Shield, to top the West and beat out every other team in the East, considering that the East is a much more competitive division than the West, in my opinion, at plus 700 on Fandle. That's really great value to me, and I played that for 0.4 units. My MLS Cup winner is Orlando City. They're at plus 2,300 on Fandle. I took that for 0.1 units, and this is a different bet because you need more than just regular season success. I don't necessarily think Orlando City are going to top the East. Like I said, the East is a very competitive division, but they're definitely going to make playoffs, and they've already proved that they can make significant runs in the postseason. They've brought in a new striker, Luis Muriel, who played in the Serie A. He's getting pretty old, but he's going to be a top talent within the MLS just because as much as I love the MLS, European talents usually kill it no matter how old they are. Orlando have proved that they can defend very well in playoffs, especially at home. They love grinding out those 1-0 gritty wins, and I think they've got what it takes to make it pretty far, at which point it's really anyone's game. And plus 2,300 for a team that made it so far last year, I think it's fantastic value. So those are my team futures. I've split up half a unit there. So those are the team futures. Now we're going to dive into the players to win the golden boot. Now I've picked five players, but with the odds and the unit structure, we're still going to profit pretty well if either one of them win. So I'm fine there. The first one that I like is Cucho Hernandez, the main guy for Columbus. He was the runner up in the golden boot race last year behind Denny Buango, who I think is still angling for a move to Europe. He would have been my pick for this season as well, but it's incredibly hard to win back to back. And if he leaves for a European team in the summer transfer window, which is right in the middle of the MLS season, then he's probably not going to win the golden boot, even if he racks up a massive lead to begin with. Cucho Hernandez is the absolute focal point for Columbus. He takes penalties, which is massive for a golden boot race, and he takes about 10 shots a game. He's a very, very high volume shooter, and I really see this being a great season for him to win that golden boot. He came very close last year. This is a great time for him to win it himself. I took that at plus 1400 on Fandle for 0.25 units. My next pick is the striker for Cincinnati, Bupenza. I still like the value here. It's plus 2,100 on Fanduel. I took that for 0.1 units. The only hesitation is he's got the reigning MVP, Acosta, right behind him. The problem is that Acosta takes pens. But the reason I like the value is because last season, Bupenza was playing in a two-striker formation alongside Brandon Vasquez, who has now since moved to Monterey in the Mexican League. So now he's going to be the lone striker behind one of the best attacking midfielders in the entire MLS. And if that's not a recipe for goals on one of the best teams in the MLS, I don't know what is. 
The next three guys are all very much long shots. I'm playing them for the odds value because I don't necessarily think they're going to win, but they definitely could. And if they get close towards the end of the season, I think we'll see some pretty significant cash outs. So these are more value plays. Keep your expectations low. I just really like the numbers here. The first one is Emil Forsberg at plus 8,000 over on DraftKings. I took him at 0.05 units. Again, fractional exposure, managing our risk exposure here just to be cautious with our bankroll. Forsberg is still very much a top talent. He came over from a Red Bull to Red Bull transfer. He was playing for Leipzig in the Bundesliga, and now he's playing for the Red Bulls based out of New York. He's had a fantastic preseason, and he's going to be taking free kicks and penalties for the Red Bulls in the MLS. Again, that's a fantastic recipe for a golden boot winner. He's proven European talent. It's not like he was washed in Europe either. He was still putting up pretty decent numbers. And now he's coming to the MLS. It's going to be pretty competitive, obviously. That being said, I think plus 8,000 on an attacking midfielder is a pretty wild number, if we're being honest. My next two picks both play for NYCFC. If you can't tell, I'm an NYCFC fan. So one might say I'm biased. One might say I've also got insider information. These are definitely value plays. The first one is Bakra. At plus 15,000 on FanDuel, I took that for 0.05 units. Again, fractional exposure. will win big if he comes close. He is going to be the starting striker of NYCFC. He started taking penalties towards the end of last season. I'm not entirely sure if he's going to be on penalties this season. If he is, that's great. If not, he's still the starting striker on NYCFC. The last starting striker on NYCFC that put up pretty big numbers was Tati Castellanos, who won the Golden Boot when we won the MLS Cup only a couple of years ago before he moved to Europe. I think Bakra, even though he started a little bit rough for us, this is his first full season with the club. I don't think he's going to be missing chances the way he was towards the end of last season. He's had time to settle. He's had a preseason, and he's looked really good in preseason as well. So this is a pretty nice number to get him at, and hopefully he has a pretty hot start. The next number is sheer value. This is Talis Magno. He's a Brazilian winger for NYCFC, but he also plays striker, and he also sometimes takes penalties. Who knows? If he's the penalty taker for us this season, this is a ridiculous price. Plus 42,000 on Fandle. Again, I took this for 0 0.05 units. This same bet is plus 15,000 on DraftKings. So still the guy pretty close to the bottom of the list, but you're looking at almost triple the odds on Fandle. Fantastic, fantastic value on a Brazilian young talent who, when he gets playing time, absolutely cooks. He didn't play as much for us as I thought he would last season. He's had injury problems, but if he stays healthy, and even if he doesn't take pens, I think he's a fantastic young player, and this is just a ridiculous number to hang on him. So yeah, those are my MLS futures. Let's wrap them up really quickly. LAFC to win the Supporters' Shield, plus 700 on FanDuel for 0.4 units. Orlando City to win the MLS Cup at plus 2,300 on Fandle for 0.1 units. That's half a unit right there on Team Futures. Followed by Cucho Hernandez to win the Golden Boot at plus 1,400 on Fandle for 0.25 units. Bupenza to win the Golden Boot plus 2,100 on Fandle for 0.1 units. And then the long shots, Forsberg at plus 8,000 on DraftKings. 0.05 units and then the uh the nycfc boys bakra at plus 15,000 on fandle 0.05 units and talis magno plus 42,000 on fandle 0.05 units i'm really excited for this season mls is definitely a very chaotic league the quality isn't brilliant but it's always a great time and you're going to be seeing me filming content at games at Yankee Stadium or City Field because we don't have a stadium yet, but I'll be repping NYCFC all season long. It's going to be an absolute blast. So yeah, it's been your boy Sam, aka FIFA Brit from Gold Boys. If you aren't liked or subscribed to our YouTube channel, go and do that right now. Drop some love in the comments below. And as always, if you think you have a gambling problem, 
don't hesitate to call the number 1-800-GAMBLER. Have a fantastic one. Looking forward to a great season, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.